Hi guys, good afternoon. And so today I'm going to show you the welding symbols. This one is a must to know by welders and pipe fitters. And uh, for everyone who is interested in welding. Okay, this one is the weld symbols on the drawings. So this one is the basic guidelines that uh, we must know if we are uh, working on this kind of industry as a welder and as a pipe fitter. So you can just take a photo on that one and later I'm going to show you the the welding uh, uh, symbols. So this one is the uh, as, as, we, as I mentioned before this one is from the welding institute so that one is if you see the arrow from the top that is uh, arrow and the arrow line and the other one is the reference line see the difference bold line and the normal lines so when you see the welding symbols as well in this one welds done from this side arrow side is the underneath of the welding so and welds done from the other side of the joint go on the top of the reference line so the arrow line is mostly on the bottom of the reference line i can show i show you to that one later in this one like for example in this one this is the reference line and this one is compound symbol for pilot well so a is the actual throat or the actual thickness of the welding and the b which is 10 is the height of the welding or the leg and uh, what is this number 10 this is means 10 welds and this is the length of welding so 50 mm and this one is the spacing so if you're going to apply this on the actual weld so 10 welding 50 length and the spacing is 100 so normally this spacing is from the center to center of the welding that's 100 okay so correct me if i'm wrong for those who is uh, uh, expert in this field these are uh, some of the welding symbols this one is the do double bevel because that's only half bevel so one bevel here one bevel here double b double j and double u most of the uh, isometric drawing we can see this one this one is what we call the reference line the circle is weld all around and this plug is weld on site so whenever you see this one don't weld because that one need to be weld on site for adjustment purposes and for pick up so single bevel pilot welding or, com or compound welding as I mentioned, actual throat is 7A and the B is the leg, height of the weld. Once you see this one, this one is the spot weld. And uh, when, if you see this one, that is square butt weld. And this one is where the references or what most of the um, uh, references that you need to know. That's, they've all put in here. Okay, and this one for the pilot welding, weld this side and weld that side. Okay, because this one is the arrow side, this one is the other side. Number 12, 3, 20 meter, 20 millimeter length, and this one is staggered, so on the opposite. Then 50 mm gap okay next one
Okay, this is another example for this. You can have a look. So, as you can see, you can just have a, a, take a screenshot and you can uh, read thoroughly uh, and you can learn from that one. What I'm going to show you is just uh, mainly the information that you need to know because this one is a must if you want to work on site or on the publication shop. And this is the kinds of symbols, so elementary symbols. So this one is the illustration and this one is the symbol for a, for a square but well is the symbol for the single b but well the symbol single bevel single bevel single b but well uh, single bevel but well single u single j background period 12 plug and spot well so that is the information that you need to know okay On the other side once you see the symbol, that symbol for sim weld, symbol for uh, stiff flank single B but weld, stiff flank single B but weld, edge weld, surface, surface joint, inclined joint, and fold joint. So there's another supplementary symbols for uh, flat, for convex, for concave, for toe, for permanent backing strip, and removable backing strip removable and permanent okay and this one is uh, numerical identification for selective welding processes so you can just have a look and if you want to take a picture just take a picture and Make sure to keep it on your own notes because this one is really important. To get a good job, you need to prepare your tools for the job. Okay, because this study is one of the tools that you need and you must know about this. Okay, thank you guys. Bye-bye.